What's going on guys? Today we have a very simple keto custard recipe and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. It is four ingredients and you whisk, you bake, and it's super delicious and fancy and indulgent. So you're gonna to wanna to make this and we're gonna keep it simple as far as Flavoring goes, we're just gonna do some vanilla extract, but you can do maple extract, you could probably do some cinnamon, and then definitely garnish it with like nuts and berries. The oven is preheating to 350 degrees right now. So first thing we're gonna do is add two cups of heavy cream to our mixing bowl. And to our bowl, we're just gonna add the rest of our ingredients. So we're gonna get our eggs in, three large eggs. Sometimes you'll see custards with just yolks, but here we are using the full eggs and it'll still come out very, very delicious. So let's give that a whisk, break those eggs apart. Now we're just gonna add some vanilla extract. Nice flavoring. And then we are gonna add our quarter cup of erythritol. Erythritol is a low carb sweetener we like to use in most or all of our desserts if you'll see on our blog ketoconnect.net. However, you can definitely play around with it. You can cut it in half if you want a little less sweet and even swap in some stevia or you can add some more liquid stevia or more erythritol if you want it sweeter next time. And as far as the erythritol goes, powdered is gonna be best here because you don't want those grainy little bits in your smooth keto custard. Okay, that looks perfect to me, nice and thick. So now all we're gonna do is pour our mixture into our four ramekins evenly. And as you can see here, we have three that are the same size. One is slightly bigger. We had a fourth that was the same size, but our 18 month old son chucked it across the kitchen and it broke. We are just gonna very carefully distribute this. That looks good. And as you can see here, I've put all four ramekins in a deep brownie pan because we're gonna be pouring boiling water into the bottom of it about an inch up. So let me get the boiling water prepped and then we'll bring it back to pour it in. Okay, we've got our boiling water. So I'm gonna pour it in about an inch up on the ramekins. Okay, so now I'm gonna very carefully place this in the oven at 350 degrees. And we're gonna bake this for 30 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on top. But I'm gonna keep an eye on it because our oven runs a little hot and I don't want it to burn. So we'll check on it at 25 minutes and then I'll pull it out and we'll give it a taste. So just to be extra safe, I'm also gonna put this dish on another tray because it's gonna be very hot when I have to pull it out of the oven. I don't want any slips and falls. So this will just be a lot easier for the transfer. All right, so it's been about 27 minutes. I took a peek. You can see that they are golden brown and they're probably slightly set around the edges. So I'm actually gonna pull this out now and then we're gonna let it cool. And you can serve these warm or cold. So if you wanna serve them cold, I would let them sit out for about 10 to 15 and then pop them in the fridge. Or you can just let them sit for a bit and then serve them up. There we are, perfect and beautiful. We're just gonna let them cool and we'll give them a try. Okay, we're back with our keto custards. It's been about 30 minutes, I would say. So they are definitely not hot to the touch, but still nice and warm. And I'm very excited to dig in. So I'm gonna pull out the one that looks the best, which is this one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is so jiggly and thick. Still, it smells very vanilla-y and warm. Mm-hmm. Mm, oh my God, that's really good. That's worth going in for a second. And I don't normally do that when I'm tasting. It's so thick and so creamy. It just like melts in your mouth. This would be so good with some nice cold, fresh berries or the crunch of nuts. But even just on its own, I would probably do maple extract next time personally because I love a good maple flavor and it's just so warm and comforting. But this keto custard recipe is a home run, so easy to make. And you can prep this for all week long because this will definitely be good in the fridge for five days, I guarantee it. We're gonna keep these, and I know Theo's gonna love it too, our 18 month old son. So very family friendly. So if you wanna make this recipe, check out the link below. It has all the ingredients and the steps on exactly how to make these, just like you see here. You're gonna wanna do it. Thanks for watching.